Good question. It's pretty easy to sell, really. We've got, uh, as a resource investment commissioner, my job is to, is really to facilitate and match make inbound investment interest to resource or energy opportunities. That job, just through the interface that it creates, I become an ambassador of some sort. I do boardroom lunches or, or conferences every week. And it's pretty, the, 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 the investors don't cut to the chase quickly and say, Todd, give us your top 10. And I, I can quite easily tell you the top 10. So we've got, um, geologically, we're sport for choice. We've got nearly all the key commodities that investors are after, from the prime metallurgical coal, the prime thermal coals, through to conventional oil and gas. We've got LNG. We're now the second largest LNG exporter globally. Um, we've got copper, lead, zinc, silver, bauxite. Geologically, we're spoiled, okay? We've also got scale on all those assets. And a lot of those base minerals, we're top five of the world. Met coal, we're number one in the world. LNG, we're number two in the world. Um, our infrastructure's got latent capacity on both coal, minerals, and LNG. So the infrastructure's got more to give. The commodity prices have returned. Um, by this stage, I normally don't need to get to my top 10, but like we can talk about operating costs have been refined in the last down cycle. You can get skilled labor here, and it's Australia. It's not, with all due to respect to Latin America or the Africa's, it presents a different political risk and a more favorable trading partner for investors. So, you know, not all of them are government's doing, not all of them are Todd's doing, but we've got the perfect storm of all the good things coming together.